Okay, so we're gonna review the head and ventral neck muscle IDs of the cat. Up here, this muscle on the top of the head is gonna be your temporalis. If we move forward, more towards the mouth, this round muscle here is going to be your masseter. Moving down to the muscles between like the shoulder and the head, right here, this grouping, you wanna to wanna to take this muscle, which is gonna be your clavodeltoid and your clavotrapezius out of the way, as well as your levator scapulae ventralis muscle. Pull that out of the way as two. So you can clearly see these two muscles here. This back one, coming from your clavicle region to your head, is going to be your clidomastoid. And this muscle here, going from your sternum to your head, is your sternomastoid, right here. If we open the cap up and lay on its back a little more, We'll expose more of the ventral neck muscles. This muscle here, one, two, you have one on each side, is gonna be your digastric muscles. If we pull that out of the way a little bit, we'll ex expose more of this muscle running here. It's gonna be running side to side versus up and down. This is going to be your mylohyoid. And if you pull that back, we'll expose this muscle here, which is known as your geniohyoid. These two muscles, you have one on each side, one, two, just like we had up here with the digastric muscles, is going from your sternum to your hyoid. So it's gonna be your sternohyoid muscles. If you pull that to the side, you can see there's a muscle right here is going from your sternum to your thyroid and is going to be known as your sternothyroid. Right above that very small muscle here is running from your thyroid to your hyoid and is going to be known as your thyrohyoid muscle. Both of these can also be found on this side of the cat as well. And that's the muscles of the head and the ventral neck.